Hey, how's it going? I'm doodling here with the Ohuhu alcohol ink markers I just got yesterday, I think. And, of course, this. And alcohol ink mixed, I mean, rubbing alcohol, 91% rubbing alcohol mixed with vegetable glycerin. And I'm messing around. I'm just playing around. And I thought, well, I guess I can turn on the camera now and <laughs> show you how how I made this. And it took a lot of work. And it looks like, to me, it looks really cool. To you, it might look like a hot mess. In the screen panel, it looks like a wild and crazy tiger lily, you know. It's... Um, it's really cool. It has an orange, more of an orangey tint in the screen panel, but there's way more red in there. So I'm using the Terra Slate paper, which is the most durable paper in the world. <laughs> that's, that's what it claims to be. And I really like that. And I started with this, this little flower here, and I just did orange, red, and yellow and uh, mel i think it was melon yellow this is sunflower yellow and i used these strips here of uh, or these stripes of red orange and yellow as kind of a palette and i'm also using one of these little palette plastic palettes this i use to fill the water brush pens with uh, the alcohol ink and glycerin vegetable glycerin solution. So I'm just kind of using that to drop Put some drops of alcohol ink and then just kind of shooting it out in different directions so I tried Doing it straight down like this and then also like this just to see I just want to see what kind of an effect I can get with it since I just bought these uh, and they came in yesterday. I thought this is a good time to try out these Ohuhu alcohol ink markers and see what I can do with them and not use the straight up pinata inks, alcohol based inks. And I thought, well, I, I should be able to get something out of it. And I'm also watching Vivo Vintage Designs and I'm watching her use uh, she was using alcohol ink markers and as well as a drop I watched her do a flower and she used the drop of the purple passion that deep dark purple she put that in the middle but I'm not I'm I'm not using the alcohol inks with this I just want to see what kind of an effect I can get and and the more I practice with this, the better I get at it, you know, directing the the color around and everything like that. And it this takes a lot of practice. That's that's what I will tell you. I mean, get one of these, these portable things, and a portable airbrush, and just kind of try it out and just practice. Even if it's just with alcohol ink markers, you know, or get a little... Uh, Jacquard Pinata Exciter Packs. Uh, you get nine alcohol inks in there, and you can just really go to town and make really cool designs and everything. Another thing that I'm not doing that I see almost every alcohol ink artist do on YouTube is I'm not using a heat gun or a hair dryer to make my designs. I am just straight up using the uh, rubbing alcohol with the vegetable glycerin mixture and alcohol ink markers and this. So I thought, well, I should be able to get some type of a design from it. Okay, so let me get another piece of Terra Art paper, Terra Art, Terra, Terra Sleep paper. Okay, so this one, uh, I was trying... Jeanette, her name is Jeanette, her, her method, without using alcohol inks in liquid form, just using it in the marker form, and what she did was, I'm going to try it with um, the, the cool colors, right? Okay, my cat blew, 
is eating things that are not food. He's eating the water, the water snakes, the snakes I put at the door to sop up water when we have really bad rains. And we haven't had really bad rains in a while, so it's my fault for not putting it away when I should have. Oh, yeah. He knew I was doing wrong, too, and I'm like, boo! <laughs> and he takes off running. Yep. So I'm going to use uh, this one in the middle. All right. And what I want to do is give me lots of room, Tammy. <laughs> I'm just going to do this and put a big old blob of purple. I'm going after the Vivo Vintage design, only more my style than, uh, than how she's doing it. So <laughs> Hopefully she'll be okay with this. And then... Did this. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, even though I almost practiced it earlier. She didn't quite do it like this. So if you ever watch her video, uh, if I think it, I think about it, I'll I'll link it. She did use alcohol ink markers, though. This sensor. Got some purple in there. And what I don't want to do, maybe some of the blue in here. I'm really chisel challenged. <laughs> I'm telling you. It doesn't come out chisel the chisel way that I want it to be. Oh, this is um, also here. some blue okay so I'm going to also she used the dryer uh, hair dryer I think it was to dry like she dropped some purple passion right there and, and uh, she I can't remember what, what colors she didn't use, she used like green, yellow, and red, I think. Oh, that looks cool on the, <laughs> on the screen, screen panel looks pretty cool. Let's just leave it now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, gonna put these markers to the side so that I don't get in my way. I'm going to... She also said she used a lot of rubbing alcohol. And... Whew, I dropped some somewhere. <laughs> Where did I drop? And... What did she use? I think she used... Oh, I think she used the Tim Holtz dryer. It's, it's like a giant turkey baster. Oh, cool. Let's watch the colors. And let me come down a little. Let it settle in. Okay, so I'm gonna be ambidextrous today and use 
my left hand to put the drops down. That's cool. This will look nothing like hers. <laughs> I want you to know. I'm waiting. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I like how it branches off of, off of its own color there. Okay, let me turn this. I should have brought my turntable out. Way too much. Or is it? I might have to try the get the Tim Holtz blower and see if that how well I can do with that. I do not have a turkey baster. That might work too. I'm okay with it going off the page. She also did her piece on a tile.
Let's do one in the middle. Straight down. <laughs> That's cool. It looks like I totally erased the center, but that looks really cool right now. I want all the different directions. That's really cool to watch that. So now what I'm doing is I'm dropping the alcohol right here on the edge, like I kind of I guess like I was before. That's a lot. <laughs> It's very relaxing, by the way. A little bit here. Here's the train. Or I should say, do you hear the train? We're supposed to be getting a cold front today, but it's going to be very short lived. From what I understand, just one day, and tomorrow we'll be back, like, I think in the upper 80s or low 90s. Low 90s down here in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas. is so cool. I'm just gonna keep going and going and going. Kind of mute the color a little bit on the edge of this purple ring. See how much of the color I can still get out of the blue, purple, and teal? Let's see, right here, maybe. That's not bad. Did bring some of the purple back in, that's cool.
No, I'm touching it. Touching the paper, I can feel it. Don't touch, don't touch the paper. That's wild. I'm going. The air is going underneath that other one. The other sheet I have over there. Whoa. That is so cool. Very cool. Ooh, this is getting warm. <laughs> I guess I should let that sit. Now with, uh, with this one, I also took the, the brush part of... Uh, the pen and just kind of whisked it, you know, brushed it around. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to try that now a little bit. And I also got more of this time around. I didn't concentrate on getting flower, flower petals, you know, I just kind of, this is like a, a chaotic pinwheel here. Oh. <laughs> a little puddle there so let's see I probably it's probably already wet so I can just take the the brush I'm not squeezing the the barrel or anything like that Let's see if I can do it. Kind of push it in from the, the outside there. Kind of cool. Nah, it's not really working for me to push it in there. I get more, I can get a brush effect with this, this method too. I see these, these stripes didn't even move at all, so maybe I should... I see it got got it right there a little bit. Took some of that purple out. I like those little, little tiny ones. That's cool. 
Okay, let's see what I can do. It's not too bad. Make these more distinct petals, I suppose. That's not too bad. I also have... This cleans up nicely, by the way, when I dab it on the... the paper towel. Comes off. Wow. It's just like, yes! That's awesome! I, I just don't expect that. When I use watercolor, the ink always stains the brush. Now these were used... So this one... I got. <laughs> <laughs> needs a little more cleaning, but this one, okay, let's see. I just want to wet the brush. I like that one. Let's see, where was it? In here? There we go. I'm trying to blend out that one spot there, but I think I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> because I tend to overdo the fixing part, so I just don't want to, you know. I always say I just can't leave well enough alone. This is more of a tiger lily petal right there. See how it's starting to lose its purpliness there. I 
Once again, always quiet when I'm doing these, when I'm painting. Even if it's just a big old flowery doodle. There we go. Oh, I brought that back in. That looks so cool. That is one wild. I love it with the big purple, <laughs> big purple leaves. So I think I like this better just to kind of stretch out the, or blow out the, the strips, you know, even the blue right here I see. That's something else to work on. Let's see if I can blend out the the purple. It's okay. It's I guess it's okay if I mix the blue with the purple. They kind of get along with each other. Oh, way too much there, Tammy. Oh, too much. Let's see. That's why I don't like uh, when I'm when I'm using the brush to give a little more definition to these petals, we'll call them petals. I don't like dripping it down because I always put too much on. It's very hard to control the liquid that comes out of a water brush pen. Very difficult. And a lot of, um, I've heard that a lot of artists, watercolorists do not like using the water brush pens and it's for that reason that it's very hard to control um, how much liquid comes out of this pen. So that's why I like using this. See, then I can mix it up a little bit. And that gives me more freedom, more control. Some of that purple mixed in. Yep, this is very, very relaxing. That's good because I'm slightly stressed. I get my. I was trying the the beauty wedge, but I don't know. I mean, I think that's another technique that I would need to practice. Practice a lot.
pressing down? I don't think I'm pressing down. On that barrel. Tackle the the teal. Even mixed in with the blue here. Okay, let me see if I can take out some of the blue. a new reservoir of alcohol there. Now, getting these lines, I'm actually trying to do that on purpose so that they form if you don't run your brush over them, you can create a darker line there, and that gives a little more dimension to your to your objects, and like I said, to the petals here. Cool. That sounds really going way out there. No doubt from when I was blowing the inks around. Even of the teal variety, that doesn't look as tealish. <laughs> Where's my teal? I wonder if I can. Excuse me. Looks like I'm making it worse, right? Maybe you have to let it dry a, a little bit, maybe. That looks cool. I love it. Do I need to touch this up at all? I need to remove remove the purple here or something.
She also did the inside. I'm not uh, I'm not going to try that with this, but she did the inside as a deep dark purple. And then she added the white. I think it was the the alcohol ink white, the piñata maybe. And she just kind of dabbed it more here or where she wanted that dimension that she held it up and it looked so 3d it was it was amazing i was like wow that is so cool can i do that <laughs> i would have to do that with, with this i can't get the cap off oh no not that one Only in reverse, because now I'm using the the purple instead of the white. There is a cool gray in here. Hmm. Don't ask me where I'm going with that. <laughs> Ooh! The dog say hi. I'm trying out my new lighting system tonight. I should say this morning. I'm gonna go like this and Keep everything dark. And then I'm going to go in with a light purple. Pastel violet or mauve shadow. Hmm. I'm sure you want to see the color. You can't see the color. I don't think you... Can you see that? I got a lot of stuff on my screen panel. So I can't tell if you can see it. Oh, yeah. You can see it. Okay. That's Mauve Shadow. And this is Pastel Violet. I just don't know. The gray trim is where the brush is. <laughs> Why am I telling you that? I'm telling... Oh, maybe that one. Pastel Violet. Oh, let's try that one. Uh, I'm more to myself. The gray trim, Tammy. <laughs> That's where the brush is. This is dry. It dries kind of fast. Push that flower up. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, mm, eh. <laughs> Not so much. Let me see. I will definitely have to work on that. Hmm. That's cool, though. Not all flowers have, you know, the dot, 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 dot stuff in there. And this is the pinwheel flower, which, uh, to my knowledge, does not exist. <laughs> but, hey. Why be normal? Okay, let's try cool gray, since there's no white in this mix Ooh. I can't even see that maybe that's a good thing a 
I suppose I could use the alcohol ink blender. Oh yeah, that might work. It's like a silver. Okay, let's see. There is a little bit of lightness there when I use the pastel violet. What do you think? Hard to tell. It's making it more, more purple. Purple. <laughs> I know I'm emphasizing purple because the other purple, the aubergine, I guess it is, is much darker. More, taking on almost like a blackish purple, but this is a more violet purple. Hmm, that's interesting. first. Hmm, that's not bad. I'm going to try also the the, ink, the colorless blender. That's our white. Wrong. Wrong again, Tammy. <laughs> Maybe wait a little bit for it to dry and you might be thinking, oh, it dries fast because it's rubbing alcohol. <laughs> the beauty wage test. Mm. Okay. I think it's dry. A little bit of purple there. You have to touch it in one spot for a while. Yeah, I can see how. And then you have to... <laughs> could take a long time. The illusion of white. Absence of color. Deep philosophical words. Well, now I'm going hog wild here. Getting carried away. It. <laughs> it looks really cool in the screen panel. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. to go because this is a long video. It's a long video. Now I have to sign off. Randomize. So, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.
and running down to, oh, wait, if this is, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, wow. Maybe I should do it again. Have a zazzy day. I like that word. Deactivate. <laughs> okay. Bye.